Welcome, I've got a demo to do for the bevel joints add-on. Now currently it does have a couple of limitations. One is you're not going to be able to adjust the bevels if you have a bunch of beveled objects attached to one. And the only other limitation is that it does not do well with geometry like a loop cut in the middle. Okay, so that's going to cause a little bit of a problem, but I'm working on that right now. The next version is going to correct that and add some extra features. Now your basic setup, you don't have to, you could scale this however you want. You don't have to apply the scale. Uh, if you want to, you can, whatever makes sense. And come up to the bevel joints and we want to select a target. The active object is the cube. And then we'll select the object we want to bevel to. And you just click join. Now you can change these segments here. And as you can see, this is going to live update. The uh, width of this is going to change. The shape is going to change. And so you'll be able to do a lot. Now, when you're changing the shape, you're able to kind of poke this out and create extra geometry if you want. Kind of changing the profile curve. You change the segments down to one if you want a chamfer. And you can raise it up to 30 or so. And you can shade it smooth. Now I don't have, I do have cavity on. Let me turn that off. So cavity is on. And now it's not. So you can see it's a nice setup. Then you can come in here and you can go ahead and say bevel out these corners and make that look really nice. And that will be good. Now any other object you attach to this will retain that exact beveled shape. So unfortunately, just for now, it's going to be something like if you want to join this, it's still looking for this cube. So you just click join and it's going to give you the exact same bevel. You can't change it right now. It's going to knock everything out. And then if you do happen to have some extra geometry, you don't want to cross because this is ray casting to the edges and it won't be able to seek out the corners to center this to give it the perfect bevel. And so right now that's just a limitation. So you can run around and throw a bunch of different things on the sides. Pretty cool add on. Now, if we want to try this, I'll give you an example, I'm going to remove this object and it does have revert. So if I wanted to revert that last move, I can do that. And what I'll do is I'll just get rid of that for now. So the add-on is only gonna read this one object. And that's another thing I'm upgrading right now so that you can finalize the bevel and or just contain and store, have a storage option for those bevels. So if I do this now and we go to join, it's looking for those edges and it can't find it because of that loop cut is there so we can revert back control z revert back whatever works and if i grab this one edge and then i can dissolve that edge out and then i go back to join this it's now going to work and so now you're going to change your bevel however you want and so you can attach this to a number of different objects it'll work nicely now i'm going to select a new object and this one's a little more tricky because you're going to put two spheres together. But obviously we have all of this geo right here. So if we go in a wireframe, what we're trying to do is we're trying to grab. And let me grab this. We're trying to uh, remove everything from this line, wherever the threshold, the main threshold is on the two sides the add-on is looking for these points and positions. And if there's extra geometry there, it's gonna stuff it up just a little. So what we want to actually end up doing is we wanna flatten this. So there'll be a little work to do, not much uh, in the beginning here. So I'm gonna hide this object. I'll grab this one and jump into face select. And I'm going to just select a certain portion of the geometry where I think the lines meet and I can flatten that and I can bring this geometry back and I want to leave a little bit of a gap so the bevel can work. Okay. So I'll grab this object, select my join object and voila shade smooth. I've got a very nice bevel. 
Now, currently when you do adjust this width, it's going to turn off the auto smooth and that's fine. I'm adding an option for that as well. And you just be able to auto smooth that again. So you can put uh, cylindrical objects together quite nicely and I can just revert that back. And now for this object, I wanna put a sphere through this and this should be pretty easy because this is a nice flat surface. So I'll just go ahead with this as the active object. I'll grab my cylinder and I'll click join. And now, right now there will be just a little overlap, but you can correct that very easily. Like I say, you can bring these segments up or down. You could technically remove the bevel. You don't even have to have it. And you'll have this nice joined object right here. And you could just grab this loop now, because this is another way to do this. And you can hit control B and you can control this bevel this way as well. But know that the operator that's built in to the bevel joints is going to be more powerful than that. And it's not going to, this isn't going to work quite as good. So we bevel this and we'll just revert back actually. And I think it may have cre yeah, created a duplicate. That's a by design actually. And I do want a duplicate mesh created on some destructive operations. You'll see that a duplicate will be created. And so there you go. That's just how you do it. And I hope this was a little bit more informative because I did a quick video previously. So now you'll be able to join these objects and create some pretty cool things. So in the comments, you could leave, you know, whatever has worked good for you guys. And you can, you can put really nice big bevels in here and you can actually bring the segments up far enough it, it kind of looks like you don't have to shade it smooth, but I still shade it smooth. It does kind of accentuate those corners. So, you know, whatever, you can do this however you wish. Thank you for watching. You can pick up the add-on. I'll leave a link in the description and in the comments. And also I would be looking for a big upgrade to this very soon, as soon as I can get the uh, upgraded version out of dev mode. And if you've already picked up the add-on, all you have to do is upgrade for free.